Hello, my name is Mike Bivens and I'm the Chief Engineer for Remco Geotechnical Contractors. Today I'd like to talk to you about sinkholes as part of our Stabilizing Force video series. As you can see from this geologic map, karst affects approximately 25% of the United States. The type of karst differs slightly from the south to the north. In Florida, much of the bedrock is a soft limestone with sand overburden. As this limestone dissolves, voids in the bedrock allow the sand overburden to flow into the opening and create a large area of subsidence at the surface. As we travel north, the bedrock changes to a much harder limestone with a clay overburden. In these regions, the opening at the surface may be much smaller because the clay overburden has the ability to bridge around a small opening and it is typical to have small openings at the surface even though the bedrock depth is much deeper. For repair of sinkholes, there are two common methods. If it is possible to excavate to the top of rock, a concrete plug may be constructed to stop the future loss of soil. Then that excavation would be backfilled and compacted, providing a good subgrade to build on. Where bedrock is too deep to excavate, it is common to use a grouting approach to repair the sinkholes. There are two forms of grouting that are common. Cap grouting is the use of a very thick grout to place a cap on the surface of the bedrock to prevent further soil loss and future sinkhole formation. Compaction grouting is often used after a cap is placed to compact soils that have been loosened by the sinkhole formation and work your way up to the surface, providing a stable subgrade for building. It is typical to begin grouting on a 10 or 15 foot grid pattern, starting from the area of subsidence or sinkhole activity, working your way out, looking for zones where the native soil is undisturbed. As you can see in this illustration, pipes are advanced down to the top of bedrock and the grout is placed to cap the top of the bedrock at each location. Additional injections are placed on a grid pattern approximately 10 to 15 feet apart, working your way from the center of the affected zone outward. Grout is placed from the top of the bedrock up to the surface to compact loose soil and lift, a, lift or level settled structures. It is typical to perform cap and compaction grouting on a unit price basis. Usually there is a fixed fee for mobilization and demobilization and unit prices for the amount of grout used and the footage of casing installed to the top of rock. It is not possible to accurately predict the amount of casing to be advanced or the grout to be pumped ahead of time, although a conservative engineering estimate is often used during the proposal phase. Although sinkos form suddenly, the repair may be done immediately and the repairs are permanent if the proper cap is put in place. Cap grouting can be a permanent fix for sinkholes, even under existing structures. Thank you for watching our video series. For more information, contact Rimco Geotechnical Contractors today.